Hello there. Now, if I finish this video in time, this weekend is the second race of the 2023 NASCAR season. So I figured before the season starts in earnest, I'll record my video predictions for what I think is going to happen this year. Now, these aren't extremely serious. They're more of a mildly educated guess as to what it's going to happen and if I get anything correctly I'll have it in video format so I can tell my friends hey I told you so So overall for the season, I think it'll be similar to last year with a variety of different winners. Looking at the list of full-time entries, I think there's roughly 23 drivers that have the equipment to go out and win without anything too wild happening. However, one of those drivers that I don't include in that list has already won this year, so who knows what could happen. So if I had to pick a number of how many winners I think there will be this year, well I kept going through the list and sometimes I'd come up with wild numbers over 20, but surely that wouldn't happen, right? So if I have to pick a number, I'm going to say 17 winners. This is a lot, and by this logic that means that someone who's won a race this year will not get into the playoffs, and I think that very well could be the Daytona 500 champion based off of last year's performance. And speaking of Daytona, I don't think there's a lot to learn from Daytona because of how super speedways balance a lot of the teams, but I think you can tell a lot about the lower teams. And unfortunately, I don't think there's going to be any big surprises of backmarker-ish teams making a step forward this year. I do think there'll be about five categories for teams. You have the top division of teams, which could become dominant. You have the second division, which could win at any week. Then you have the midfield, which could win at select tracks. Then you have the teams that could win with a bit of good luck and being in the right place. And then finally you have the teams that are just happy to be there. And out of the happy to be there class, I think if any of them did get a win, it would probably be Corey LaJoy. However, I do know Rick Ware Racing has had some competitive cars in other classes of racing. So maybe this is the year they bring some of that magic to NASCAR and get a win by being in the right place at the right time. But when it comes to the overall year awards, like things like Rookie of the Year, I think you have to go with Ty Gibbs. Noah Gregson is talented, but traditionally it takes him a year or so to become competitive. And then when you consider the Old Man Motor Club, I just don't think there's enough of a car there for him to be competitive with Ty over the course of the year. Then for my playoff drivers, they're divided here. Then for the 2023 NASCAR Cup Series champion, I'm going to go with Martin Truex Jr. He didn't win a race last year, but he's already won one non-official seasonal event this year. He was high up in points last year until being bumped off in the playoff entry point, and I just don't think that's going to be an issue this year, because he could literally win anywhere, except for probably super speedways. So I think he's determined, going to be consistent, get at least one win, and make it through the playoffs, and then get another championship. But what do you think about my choices? Is my year-long number of winners too high? Or even too low? Who's in your playoffs? Who wins the championship? Is it AJ Allmendinger? Because you've got my hopeful stamp of approval. But let me know what you think in the comments below. I'll probably look back on this video later in the year and see how my guesses went. And I'm also hoping to do a video like this for Formula 1 next week before the actual first race of the season. So if you aren't already subscribed, please consider doing so and come back later. But until then, I'll see you next time on Driver Profiles.